Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Warframe. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be talking about syndicates. So syndicates is this sort of this cool way in Warframe to get a lot of cool things, and as a beginner, this is probably one of the fastest ways that you can get some really good mods. A lot of people just ignore it because it does seem too complicated, so the goal here is going to be to explain syndicates in Warframe for beginners. So those of you guys who are here wondering how you can do four syndicates at once, get 10 mastery ranks every two seconds, get a million affinity, and get all the mods all at once in under five minutes, this video is not for you. Go watch someone else. But those of you guys who are beginners and who are here just to get a cool intro into the syndicate system, hopefully I can provide that. Um, if I can, let me know because I want to make these videos better. Anyways, let's jump into it. So what are syndicates? Syndicates is this system that you unlock at MR level 3 or Mastery Rank 3 that's going to let you talk to basically these people here, these clans or these groups located in Mercury at... Lorunda Relay. So Lorunda Relay, you're going to go in here and this is where you're going to talk to syndicates and a bunch of other stuff. But Lorunda Relay, that's something that you're going to keep going back to as you get farther and farther into the game. But for the, basically for this video, we're just going to be talking about syndicates and some of those are located at Lorunda Relay. Now when it comes to syndicates, there's a few things or a few, yeah, there's two types of syndicates, let's say. There's fraction syndicates and neutral syndicates. Neutral syndicates really don't care what you're doing. They don't care who you know, who you hang out with. They're cool. They're like those kids at school that don't really give a shit. They're just, they'll hang out with whoever, okay? Those are those neutral syndicates. Don't worry about them. You can do whatever you want with them. It doesn't matter. Then there are fraction syndicates or faction syndicates. I kept saying fraction. It's faction. We're not talking math here. We're talking factions. Um, so these are going to be six syndicates. It's going to be Steel Meridian, the Arbiters of Hexus, Cephalon Suda, the Perrin Sequence, Red Veil, and New Loka. And what these guys are is, is there are a bunch of groups that hate each other or love each other. It really depends. So what's going to happen is you're going to pick a syndicate and that's going to be sort of your main one that you're skilling up in. Personally, I recommend skilling up in one syndicate at a time, but you can do multiples if you've got a lot of time or you've got extra daily standing. We're going to go into all of this. It does sound like a lot, but we'll get into it. So first off, here's how the syndicates are all related to each other. Right here, when you see I'm going over Cephalon Suda, you can see there's an allied syndicate. It says 50%. So I'm going to get 50% of the points that I get for Cephalon Suda into the Arbiters of Hexus. So what this means is if I get 1,000 po Cephalon Suda points towards the daily standing cap, I'm going to get 500 points towards Arbiters of Hexus. So I can basically level up these two syndicates at once. Then there's going to be another syndicate that you're opposed to. This is going to be the Red Veil in the case of Cephalon Suda. And then I lose 50% of the points that I get for Cephalon Suda to the Red Veil. So I can go negative. You can go negative up to 44,000 points. And a lot of people are wondering, can you switch syndicates? You can. You're just going to have that negative 44,000 point hole to get out of. And because of the daily standing cap and a lot of stuff like that, it's hard to do. And you're better off trading mods and items that you want with other players. But you could just skill up all the syndicates if you wanted to. You just can't do it all at once. Um, and then after your opposed syndicate that you're losing 50% of your points to, there's an enemy which you're going to lose 100% of your points to. So in the case of this, it's going to be New Loka. Um, so what you can see here is basically once I've maxed these out, once my rank is negative 2, I can't go any lower. So yeah, I'm just stuck here. And as you can see here, I've not met the syndicate representative yet. Visit them in the relay. So that's that relay I was talking about before. Go visit them there and you could start skilling up New Loka or Red Veil if I wanted to. But I don't want to do that because... Right now I'm focusing on these. Um, so the way it works is there's five different ranks of syndicates and you can see right here for Cephalon Suda, I'm rank five. For Arbiters of Hexus, which is 50% of Cephalon Suda, I'm rank three. So basically what this means is I've mostly been focusing on ranking up Cephalon Suda and I've happened to get some Arbiter of Hexus points, you know, while I'm at it. And what I'd recommend too is once you're done ranking these up, so here's how you rank up, okay? I'm probably gonna switch to a cutscene here, but let's see. So you can go for many of these and basically you're gonna go over to whichever one you want. You're gonna click a rank up button down here and you're gonna rank up your syndicate. So here we see Arbiters of Hexus. You can see this is my level lawful. If I went to rank up, I'd be the next level. This is level four, I'd be a crusader. If I hit rank up here, it has no relation to this like crusader level here. So I got very confused at first because I was like, so I can just go to level five, click rank up and I rank them all up at once because no matter what, it costs this much. No, that's not true. You're, I'm just gonna rank up to the next level, which is crusader. So I would not rank up to level five right away. I'd be ranking up to level four. So just 
we're going to cover that right there. Um, and yeah, when you click rank up, at first it's going to be easy, and at some point you're going to start sort of going through some harder to get items. So in this case, I don't even have the item. I need a Taipedo Prime handle, so I need to get that if I wanted to rank them up. And you're going to need to use a lot of credits. So when I say a lot of credits, I mean a lot of credits. I'm like bankrupt right now. I'm about to go broke, and my credits are right there. It looks like I've got a big number, but... I don't have that many credits anymore. I used to have way more, and now I just don't have them because the syndicates took them all. Sort of like how we're not going to get into it. Um, anyways, so that's your basic overview of syndicates and how all that stuff works. And you can see over here there's different. These are like other syndicates. So these are your neutral syndicates. You can just click through them here. And you can see they have their own daily standing. And the way this daily standing cap works is this is the max amount of points that you can get. So what's going to happen with syndicates? When you're running a syndicate, and this is the most important part of the video, so if you're not listening, this is when you listen. Anytime you equip a new Warframe, to get points for a syndicate, you need to go to Appearance, you need to go to Regalia, you're going to need to go to Sigil. It does not matter which one. You can select front or back. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go front. You need to select a sigil and select one of the sigils for whichever group that you want to increase your status with, right? So you've got your Cephalon Suda sigil. This is your basic sigil. Then you've got sigils that'll increase the amount of prestige or the amount of rank that you get. So you can see here it's plus 8%. Here it's plus 11%. And the way you want to do this is just keep equipping the sigil for whichever yeah, equip the highest percent sigil. It's that easy. So in this case, I'd want to equip the fractal sigil. There is one above this, but I didn't unlock it. I just unlocked the mod because I was I, I couldn't wait. It'd be yeah. It's not the best way to do it, but it's the way I did it. Um. So yeah, that that's how that works. And you can equip put whatever sigil you want in the back. So let's say you want to really support your I don't know mastery rank or whatever. You can you can throw that on the back, no problem. But one of them does need to be your syndicate sigil. Otherwise, you're not going to get syndicate points anytime you run a mission. And you just want to have those equipped because here's how it works, right? When you go into your missions up here, right here, this is where you're going to click to get your sigil missions. So you can see here I've got three of them uh, for each. Uh, each syndicate space there and this is how many reward points they're worth this is where the mission is and that's the level right so top mission i could get 3790 points i could get 3510 points for this rescue 3590 points for this one and these are all related to levels so sometimes the highest missions are going to be easier missions to complete than the lower missions so just keep an eye on that because sometimes it's easier to do a capture mission than a I don't know, wave mission because you got to do 10 waves and you might just not have the time, but a capture mission you can run through in like two minutes. So always keep that in mind. Up here, you can see the timer for when everything resets. It's four hours, 52 minutes at the time I'm filming this. I know I'm up late or early, depending on where you are. Um, or maybe I'm up at the right time. I don't know. Anyways, you can see here's the, here's the sigils I've working working for. Don't really worry too much about this. Um, but basically, you can see these are the different sigil missions I can do. I can do any of these, and I'm going to get points for it. Again, if I ran something like this, 3,590 points. I get 3,590 points times the sigil booster. So it's going to be times 1.11 in this percent, or I'm just going to add 11% to it. That's how many Cephalon Suda points I'm going to get. And then I'm also going to get point for, I think it's Arbiters of Hexus right here. I'm going to get half those points for them. So that's, that's it. And if you don't want to worry about points or anything like that, the basis of it is equip the regalia and run these missions. You're going to get points. At some point, what you're going to want to do is go over here, look over here. Once you're maxed out, once you've got, well, in this case, 70,000 points, then you rank up. And once you're maxed out, then you don't really need to worry about points. You're going to use those to purchase things. So let's go into that. How do you purchase things? You go to View Offerings, and then this is everything that you can get. You're going to be spending your points to get this stuff. And you can see there's some really good mods here. These are mostly Warframe specific mods but these are some really awesome mods there's a lot of beginner builds that are going to use mods like this and what you're going to find is let's say you want a mod from the red well i don't have the red veil let's say you want a mod from the arbiters of hexus but you don't quite have it unlocked generally there's going to be someone in the arbiters of hexus who might need a mod that you can unlock so you guys can just do a tradesies and then you'll get their mods you get your their mods and 
everything's good everybody's happy it's awesome if you're in a clan there's probably going to be people on all the time looking for it otherwise just go to trade chat you can also buy some sculptures you can buy some sort of points some scenes all sorts of stuff like that does unlock when you do this um but there, there's just so much to work with here really like this is key early game if you can get your syndicates maxed out you're gonna have an amazing array of just mods that you can use for your warframes and as long as you keep that sigil that regalia equipped you're just gonna get those points naturally and you're gonna find yourself hitting that 132,000 barrier without even trying and then you're just gonna be coming in here and buying stuff and that's when you click this hide owned and then you can buy whatever you want you can see i haven't really done that much because honestly the first video i watched on syndicates confused me and i decided i don't want to pick the wrong one because i don't want negative points and if you're taking away anything from this video, you can't pick a wrong syndicate. Just because someone says there's a better way to do it, it doesn't mean your way doesn't work and it's better to get something than to get nothing. So walk away with that. Anyways, there we, we went over missions and everything like that. Now, when you're running missions, you will at times find, what are they called? I don't know. You're gonna find these bonus things, right? I forget what they're called, they're bonus objects let's call it um, and these bonus objects can be turned in for points and the way these bonus objects work is they do not count against your daily standing but you still can't max out so as you saw i can get 132,000 cephalon suda points if i get a bonus of 5,000, well here we'll we'll run over to the relay and that's going to help explain it so what we're going to do now jump into laura relay and we're going to go over to the cephalon suda syndicate dojo and turn in our object so here you can see we're at the Lorunda relay and you can just jump in here this is going to be where all your syndicates are in our case in our case what i'm going to want to do is go over here so this is the cephala suda part of the Lorunda relay and what you're going to notice here is if you're looking to unlock it, you can go walk up to this guy, you can talk to him, you can unlock everything, you can view your offerings here, but you can do it from your ship too, so you don't really need to worry about that. And here, this is where you're going to need to turn in data. And what data is, is basically these things. As you're running this, you're going to find these scattered throughout the map. One of them is universal, that can be traded in anywhere, and the rest of them are going to be able to be traded in just at the syndicate that you, well, that they belong to. So here you can see I've got nine. And what you're gonna notice here is when I turn these nine in, it's gonna show me how many points I can get. So I can get 4,500 points. You wanna make sure that's not gonna go over your max level here. So I've got 132,000 max, so it's not gonna go over whatsoever. So then I can just click redeem. And then what you wanna notice too is it does not count against my daily standing cap. So you can just turn these things in whenever you're at the relay. And you don't really need to worry about anything as long as you just don't hit that 132,000 number. Because if you hit that, you will not be getting those points. Uh, again, I need to repeat this because this is important. Do not hit that cap because you will not get those points. It will let you turn them in, but it's not gonna give you the points. Just remember that, it's important. Anyways, let's uh, let's head over here. Let's turn in some medallions here because I've got a few of these. And here you can see I'm gonna turn in three medallions. It's gonna tell me I get 1,500 points. I'm not gonna hit that max. Daily standing cap does not matter. So I turn them in and again, you can see here, it's going to count um, where it's going to count, right? So 1,500 Arbiters of Hexus, 750 for Cephalon Suda, negative 750 for the Perrin Sequence, and negative 1,500 for the Red Veil. So I want to proceed because I don't care if these guys hate me, and I'm happy if these guys love me. So let's turn it in, and then we're getting max points. So that's the Lorunda Relay and how you use it, and that's pretty much Syndicates. Uh, there is a lot more to it. There is a lot more that you can get into. But what I wanted to do with this video is just cover the basis of it so that you guys could get the hang of it and you don't have to worry about anything. And if I didn't cover it, because I'm not sure if I did, I'll cut this part out if I didn't, um, you don't have to just play these missions. If you've got your syndicate um, symbol regalia, I guess that's what it's called, equipped, you can run any mission you want in the known universe or unknown universe if you're over at the void you can run any of these missions and you are going to be getting points the fastest way to get points in syndicates is to go do these missions but you can get them in a variety of ways otherwise so don't let that hold you back but yeah that's that's syndicates and that's sort of my serial overdrive explanation of them if you guys have any questions if there's anything that is confusing or any beginner stuff that i left out please feel free to let me know down below i try my best to make these videos quick informative and easy to understand and sometimes i go a little bit overboard but yeah that's 
syndicates in a nutshell and hopefully that helps you guys out um so yeah questions comments anything like that leave them down below otherwise thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video if you subscribe to my channel that always does help me out but either way i hope you i hope i helped you and i hope that you guys are having a great time with warframe so until next time peace